Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Adonis FX. In this tutorial, we are going to apply an Adonis muscle solver to a bicep. Also, we will add attachments to it and tweak its fiber activation levels. Let's first start by applying the muscle simulation deformer. We select the muscle geometry and apply the muscle solver by pressing the shelf button. Now I can access the solver's properties from the attribute editor. In this case, I'll add some gravity to see its effect on the simulation. Now it is time to add attachments. I select the joints to attach the muscle to, then the geometry of the muscle and click on the Add Attachments button on the Adonis shelf. If we simulate now, we will see that our muscle is still falling. In fact, by turning on the debugger, we won't see any attachment connection. We need to assign attachment weights. Make sure you are on the start frame, then select the muscle geometry and press the paint button on the shelf. From the paint tool, we will select the attachment attribute and paint for each of the attachments. The weights are automatically normalized during painting. We will paint attachments with a weight of one at tip of the tendons to their nearest attachment joint. You should now see that the debugger is showing the attachment connections. Press play to see the results of the simulation. The muscle will now be attached to the joints while falling because of the gravity. Let's set up the muscle's fibers. First, paint the tendons using the Adonis paint tool. This will generate a default fiber flow for the muscle. This will be enough most of the times, but you can always edit the fibers direction using the same Adonis paint tool. Now select the muscle geometry and turn up the activation attribute to 1. If you simulate again, you should see how the muscle contracts following the direction of the fibers. You can also increase the number of frames on the timeline and use the Adonis interactive playback while modifying the activation value in real time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.